Hari Om. Greetings, everyone. Today's topic is prayer. We'll discuss it in three parts. Theory, the power of prayer, and the range of intentions or reasons that we pray. First, we'll look at the theory. Prayer is an attempt at finding our place and purpose in the universe a way of trying to understand and cooperate with the power and intelligence that brought forth all of creation. Prayer helps us to reach outside of our limited self to the highest. It brings humility, awe, and wonderment. We gradually fine-tune ourselves until we experience the reality of the Absolute in our hearts. We become filled with divine love and wisdom. There are no set rules for prayer. You can repeat standard prayers or just speak from your heart. The most important thing is to bring a sincere and open heart to the practice. You are speaking to your divine mama or papa. Speak from the heart. Tell God all that's on your mind. Your troubles, doubts, fears, hopes, dreams, it's all fine. You can also remember the gifts that God has given you throughout your life and express your gratitude for them. You can pray for the well-being of others, their health, peace, and understanding. There are also times when we've done something wrong, made a mistake. In those instances, Pray for forgiveness. It will always be there for you, whatever you've done, as long as you ask God with a sincere heart. Just resolve not to repeat the offense and devise a way to avoid the problem in the future. But the highest prayers are the prayers made in love for love's sake. You pray simply and purely to communicate your joyful love to your divine beloved. Remember, the purpose of prayer is not to influence God's will, to somehow persuade God to change her or his mind. It's really more about opening our own hearts and minds, making us more receptive to the divine will, guidance, and strength. By opening our innermost thoughts to the absolute, we begin to transcend the ignorance and egoism that obscures the presence of the divine that is always within us. Prayer is not simply an event, it's a process. It's a skill that improves with practice. As we grow and mature spiritually and in our ability to focus, our prayers gain in power and benefit. Regularity is another key to deepening our experience of prayer. A little every day is better than a lot once in a while or when we're in crisis. Let God know your voice well. Don't wait for troubles to begin. Make it a daily habit. Why not begin today? Now. Now we'll review the power of prayer. It helps to clarify thoughts, desires, and feelings. It opens the heart to the divine wisdom. It brings awareness to our connection with the divine. It develops humility. It builds the inner strength necessary to face any difficulty the future may bring. It soothes physical and psychological pain. It helps foster healing in body and mind to others and to ourselves. It heightens the joy in joyful situations. It's a way to share all things we do, see, feel, and think. It is a very real and powerful gift to give to those in need. It is a great light in the world, a light that penetrates darkness makes the mind calm, 
It opens the heart to love for both human and divine. It helps develop the will. Most importantly, it helps us to realize God. We'll end our discussion of prayer with a sampling of prayerful intentions, the reasons we might pray. Pray to express all our hopes, fears, and joys. Pray when we're suffering. Pray when we're experiencing joy. Pray in loss and gain. Pray for the wisdom to sever the bonds of ignorance. Pray for greater selfless love, compassion, strength, and patience. Pray for forgiveness and to be able to forgive all. Pray for the welfare of others, especially those that have wronged you. Pray for your own peace of mind and being able to accept whatever God sends your way. Pray to be a servant of the divine will. Pray to overcome fear and anger. Pray when you're ill to accept whatever comes with equanimity and to remember that in essence you are the eternal self beyond all illness, pain, and even death. Pray when you're in good health that your health may be used for the benefit of others. Pray not only for human beings but for the well-being of all life, all living beings, plants, and the entire creation. Pray for souls that have departed, for their comfort, peace, and guidance on their continued journey. Pray that you always remember that you are given every moment, everything you need to grow. Pray to remember that God doesn't make mistakes. Pray that your love for God will grow deeper and more pure. Pray to remember to always pray. Pray to be able to return good for evil. Pray for the joy of praying. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om Peace, Peace, Peace. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love, and light.